Yes, yes. Throughout your books, you talk about focusing on the heart center for meditation. And what I'm asking is, in my meditation, I feel the vibration here, in the third eye, about three inches back, and on the fontanelle. Can you comment on the different areas? I know you, meet, you say the mind you should not focus on, but I'm talking about the... the on, 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 well, like we call it Sohaster Crown Center, the Crown Center. Now, if you, if, if you can concentrate on the crown center and go and beyond it, that is to see if you can raise your consciousness, right, here is the crown center and here is a third eye and, and here is one center, here is one center. But here, when you concentrate, we have to be very, very strict with ourselves. Let's say with regard to our purity. Here is the purest, all the, here, here more safety. Here, here we can concentrate, here also we can get, we can open up our third eye by opening here, you can see the past, present, future and everything. And here, if you can open up this one, we, we, enter, we can easily enter into the universal consciousness. But what happens from here, quite often, here this whole area is the mind area, from here, Uncomely thoughts can enter into this uh, into this this chakra center. Then we are totally confused. Sometimes um, confusion um, leads us to insanity. But what you can do from here, if you get protection, if you feel that here you are safe, if you can establish our consciousness here. Then we can go, here is the route. From here, if you go up and beyond, if you go beyond this ostrich, no harm, then you can go. But we need a, a place which you call, say, foundation, safety. So heart, from, if we can abide in the heart most of the time, then if we can raise our consciousness, if you come here, then come here, then go and beyond, then there's no problem at all. But if we concentrate only on the crown center, we may uh, at times feel agitated. If you look at the wall, immediately we shall see only imperfection. I am perfect, the rest of the wall is imperfect. Absolutely. So at every moment, I am finding faults with the wall. Now by finding faults with the wall, we are only making, uh, only delaying our progress. But here is a feeling of oneness. If I'm imperfect, they're imperfect. If they're imperfect, I'm imperfect. So here is a feeling of oneness. Mother sees so many ch uh, children are doing um, quite a few things, let us say, wrong. But mother does not think them as imperfect. Mother takes them as her own creation. She becomes inseparably one with the activities of her children. So here, if you keep our place of consciousness here, we take the rest of the wall as our own, very own, then it is very easy. If I can claim you and the rest of the wall as my own, then the passage is clear. But if we remain all the time here, most of the time, then we look at this person, he is imperfect. She is imperfect. Everybody is imperfect. Every moment we feel we are superior to the rest of the world. When we develop the feeling of superiority, that is our downfall. But if you establish the oneness and oneness, oneness on the strength of our prayer and meditation, then you feel the road is sunlit. So this is the disadvantage. But we shall definitely have to go beyond the mind. If you don't go beyond this crown center, which you call Sahasrara, we can never enter into the universal consciousness or transcendental consciousness. But first we have to establish our safety.